The Problem of Sewage Spills How water companies use storm overflows to pump raw sewage into rivers and seas when there is heavy rain, causing pollution and health risks. One of the most serious environmental issues facing England today is the problem of sewage spills. Sewage spills occur when water companies use storm overflows to release untreated wastewater into rivers and seas during periods of heavy rain. Storm overflows are designed to prevent sewers from backing up and flooding homes and streets, but they also mean that millions of liters of raw sewage end up polluting our waterways every year. According to the Environment Agency, there were a total of 301,091 sewage spills in 2022, an average of 824 a day. These spills can have devastating effects on wildlife, ecosystems, and human health. Sewage contains harmful bacteria, viruses, parasites and chemicals that can cause diseases such as gastroenteritis, hepatitis, typhoid and cholera. Sewage also depletes oxygen levels in water, killing fish and other aquatic life. Sewage spills can also affect the quality of drinking water sources, recreational activities such as swimming and fishing, and the tourism industry that relies on clean beaches. The water industry has been under fire from politicians, campaigners, and the public for failing to tackle this issue effectively. Water UK, the industry body that represents 25 water companies across the UK, issued an apology on behalf of its English companies and said the public was right to be upset about the current quality of our rivers and beaches. The water companies have pledged to invest £10 billion this decade in an attempt to quell public anger over pollution in seas and rivers. This investment will enable the biggest modernization of sewers since the Victorian era and the most ambitious program on sewage spills in the world. The investment plan aims to cut the number of overflow incidents by up to 140,000 each year by 2030, compared with this will be achieved by building new facilities to hold surges in rainwater, increasing capacity for sewage treatment works, reducing rainfall entering sewers and fixing misconnected pipes from properties. The plan also includes launching an online hub next year, giving the public almost live information on overflows and the state of rivers and coastal waters. The water companies also promise to support up to 100 communities in creating new protected water for swimming. However, some critics have argued that the investment plan is not enough to solve the problem of sewage spills. They have pointed out that the costs will be recouped from customers through unspecified increases in their bills determined by regulators, which could add further pressure to household budgets. They have also questioned whether the water companies will deliver on their promises, given their poor track record of environmental performance and accountability. Some campaigners have called for greater fines for breaching environmental laws and even jail sentences for water company bosses who are responsible for serious pollution. The problem of sewage spills is not only a challenge for the water industry, but also for the government, regulators, local authorities and consumers. It requires a holistic approach that considers the impacts of climate change, population growth, urban development and agricultural practices on our water resources. It also requires a shift in public awareness and behavior towards water conservation and protection. Only by working together can we ensure that our rivers and seas are clean and safe for ourselves and future generations. The water companies plan to invest £10 billion to reduce sewage spills into rivers and seas has been met with skepticism and criticism from various groups who are concerned about the impact of pollution on the environment and public health. Some of the main points of contention are The plan is too little, too late. The water companies have been repeatedly spilling raw sewage into waterways for years, despite being fined and warned by regulators. They have failed to maintain and upgrade their aging infrastructure, which cannot cope with heavy rainfall and population growth. They have also been accused of prioritizing profits over environmental protection, paying out billions of pounds in dividends to shareholders while neglecting their core services. The plan is not transparent or accountable. The water companies have not provided clear details on how they will achieve their targets, what measures they will take to prevent spills, and how they will monitor and report their progress. They have also not committed to any independent verification or enforcement of their plan. 
the public has little trust in the water company's promises, as they have broken them before. The plan is unfair to customers. The water companies have admitted that the £10 billion investment will be recouped from customers through higher bills, which could add further pressure to household budgets. However, many customers feel that they should not have to pay for the water company's mistakes, especially when they have already paid for environmental protection through their taxes and charges. They also question why the water company's shareholders are not contributing more to the investment, given their large profits. Campaigners and environmentalists have called for more radical and urgent action from the water companies, the government, and the regulators to tackle the sewage crisis. They have demanded that the water companies stop spilling sewage altogether, invest more in green solutions such as nature-based drainage systems and rainwater harvesting, and face tougher penalties for breaching environmental laws. They have also urged the public to join their campaigns, sign petitions, report pollution incidents, and challenge their water bills.